It's Monday, October 23rd, and Google's new Pixel 2 XL has been out for, well, not very long and it may have a problem with its fancy POLED screen. According to several sources, reports are popping up about screen burn-in, a problem that supposedly went away with the death of CRT displays. However, it appears that some new OLED displays may be susceptible as well. The problem is caused by the screen displaying a single image for a long period of time. Eventually, a ghost of that image is burned into the display. In the case of the Pixel 2 XL, it seems the three icons at the bottom of the screen, which are turned on much of the time, are still a tiny bit visible when the display switches to something else. The issue only seems to affect the Pixel 2 XL's plastic or P-OLED display. The smaller Pixel 2 uses a different and older kind of OLED technology known as AMOLED. According to Forbes, the Pixel 2 XL displays are made by LG, and Google is actively investigating reports of the problem. Cataclysmic fail for the Pixel 2 XL? Well, probably not, but it certainly rates a frowny face for a device this spendy. If you're a lawyer for either Apple or Samsung, what can we say? We totally think red is the best color for your new Porsche. Yep, the two tech titans are headed back to court once again, this time to argue over damages from a 2016 ruling. Why yes, it does seem like this never ends. The legal back and forth over patent infringements, intellectual property, jury instructions, phone design, UI design, drawings, written descriptions, and whether either company can sue the other over the air we breathe or some such goes back to 2012. The new legal battle will focus on whether Samsung really does have to pay Apple $399 million after losing the latest round in court last year. They'll get started on Wednesday. Hey, 400 mil is a lot of dough to you and me, but but it's pocket lint to these guys. Just cut the check. And really, Red, trust us on this one. Good news for Microsoft Xbox One owners hankering for some retro gaming fun. The first round of classic games that will work on the new console are set to drop and you can start playing them tomorrow. A leaked list of the initial batch of 13 titles includes Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, Prince of Persia, Red Faction 2, Pirates, Neo Wave, Dead to Rights, and some other favorites. Digital downloads start at 10 bucks a game, which seems fair enough, and if you have original discs that still work, you can use those as well. Redmond had promised that the console would eventually play the classics, looks like they're coming through. Hit the link for more details and check out Digital Trends for all the latest tech news as well as our Facebook page and YouTube channel and check out all of our podcasts on iTunes or wherever you go for your favorites. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.